Now to Euro 2020. UEFA have announced eight host cities and confirmed their minimum stadium capacities for the tournament this summer. We have Brian Swanson who joins us on set to tell us more about this. What have UEFA said then in regards to how many fans, importantly, are going to be attending games at the Euros this summer? Well, UEFA are very pleased to confirm that supporters should be at the summer's European Championship. Of course, everything is subject to the ever-changing coronavirus restrictions. They had asked uh, those 12 associations to provide a minimum number by Wednesday, and they have now published exactly that figure. As we have been reporting here on Sky Sports News on Thursday, Wembley gave assurances of at least 25%, up to 25% for the three group games involving England, the round of 60 tie and then they hope to be able to confirm increased capacity for the two semi-finals and the final. They don't need to provide that UEFA say until early June. In terms of fan numbers we will see potentially some big fan numbers particularly Budapest. They have given uh, minimum assurances they hope of 100% capacity. That's 68,000 in their stadia. St Petersburg and Baku at 50% minimums. That's at least 30,000 supporters in inside their games for their uh, four games in total. We know about Hamden, we knew about Hamden and the SFA in Scotland uh, with 12,000 around 25% uh, guaranteed there. Uh, there are still some question marks. We know about Bilbao, we know about Dublin. Big question marks over whether or not they will be able to offer any uh, assurances. We have since learned that Milan and Munich will also fall into that category. We were told that the Italian and German governments just didn't get the paperwork in time for that UEFA deadline on Wednesday. I don't get any sense of panic with regards to those two venues, but clearly big decisions need to be made in terms of Bilbao and Dublin. Those decisions will come on April the 19th. There are still a lot of unanswered questions, particularly in terms of travelling supporters. Mm. Uh, the UK government, understandably, following the death of Prince Philip, are not saying anything today or over the weekend. We can expect some sort of comment from them at some point next week. Are things then looking optimistic in terms of, you mentioned Wembley there, but for Scotland and Wales supporters as well, hoping to see their nations in action? Wales is the really interesting one because they've got two group games in Baku, Azerbaijan. They play Switzerland and Turkey there. Baku, it has been announced, is one country, one host city that will, will allow travelling supporters to gain access into their country without having to quarantine, without having to self-isolate. So that means that if the, those travelling supporters are, in the words of the government, citizens or residents of that country, they can get in quarantine fee. So in terms of Wales, that means if you're a resident of Wales and you want to and you get a ticket, you will be able to gain entry into Baku to watch those games without having to self-isolate. Of course, the key is when you return. When you come back to the UK, you have to be mindful of the restrictions that will be in place there because their game is June the 12th and June the 16th. So that is before the June the 21st date that, uh, that has been discussed by the UK government. So, yes, there are still unanswered questions. But this is still seeing, uh, being seen as positive news for UEFA. Remember, there was all this talk of the tournament not taking place at all. Then there was talk that it was only going to be uh, in one host city. Well, now we know a minimum of eight, at least eight, have given assurances subject uh, to coronavirus in the coming months. And UEFA are understandably very pleased about that. Yeah.